Assalamu alaikum, everybody. My name is Rayat Ahmed. I'm currently a pediatric nurse practitioner student at the University of Toledo, and I'm also medical chair of the Halim Clinic. Thanks for joining me this afternoon. So just to kind of set a little bit of background about healthcare here in America, there are about 28 million Americans who do not have health insurance. Um, that means that what we do here at the clinic, free healthcare, is very, very needed and important. And especially due to rapidly increasing costs of healthcare, underprivileged patients avoid going to the doctor and being treated. Um, their only options really could be the emergency room or urgent care, and that's still extremely expensive. So our history, the Halim Clinic, we opened in 2017, and it was started as a nonprofit initiative by Muslim doctors here in Toledo who wanted to provide clinical services free of charge to patients who can't afford insurance or who have it and can't, still can't afford uh, medical treatments. Um, it started in downtown Toledo at Masjid al-Islam, um, but then in 2019, we moved our clinic to the Musa Clinic in Holland. In 2019, we also started dental services in addition to medical services. So our mission, the Halim Clinic aims to improve all well-being of patients in the Toledo area. We hope to deliver effective quality care to our patients who can't afford medical or dental insurance by drawing on the character and generosity of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And so a little bit um, behind the name of our clinic. So him means to be forbearing, mild, forgiving, gentle, and deliberate. Um, to be leisurely in our manner, not to be hasty and to be calm and sincere. Our prophets Ibrahim and Muhammad وسلم, manifested him as they always sought to alleviate the suffering of those around them. As humans and servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, creator of the universe, we see ourselves as simply contributing to another's health and serenity. To treat our patients, whether they be our loved ones or strangers, members of the community, anybody, we must have him. So a little bit about the medical services that we offer. Um, we offer primary, primary care services, such as problems of the heart, such as blood pressure, cholesterol. Um, we offer dermatology services, say somebody has a mole or a lesion that they need to get looked at, a rash. Um, also endocrinology services, if somebody is having problems with diabetes or thyroid problems. Um, gastrointestinal problems such as acid reflux, GERD, um, hematological problems, so blood disorders if somebody is having low iron, um, musculoskeletal disorders such as arthritis if somebody gets injured um, and they've got like a sprained ankle. Uh, we also offer neurology services um, and preventative health care screenings, psychiatry, pulmonology, pediatrics, and women's services as well, OB-GYN. We also do physical examinations for, um, say you get a job and you need um, to be checked out just to make sure you're fit for duty or um, pediatric sports examinations. Um, and we also do lab tests, blood, blood draws as well. We also have our own in-house pharmacy um, that we are licensed to dispense some medicines. Um, nothing controlled, but we can give everyday medications such as Tylenol, antibiotics, we've got steroids as well. Um, we do offer all of these services and our medications free of charge, as well as the blood draws. They are free to our patients. Um, and we also um, offer dental services as well that are free. So we offer evaluations, cleanings, fillings, root canals, and extractions. We offer these services to both adults and children as well. And then our team is um, structured. Um, overall, we have a board of directors that oversees everything. Underneath them, we have our clinical operations team. 
that handles the everyday daily operations of the clinic. And then underneath that, we have our interns, um, dentists, physicians, PAs, uh, who take care of our patients directly hands on. So over the past year, we provided free medical and dental care to about 244 different patients with over 600 appointments. We've made a lot of impact and we do have a couple of videos with patient testimonials. Um, unfortunately, we've ha we're having some tech issues, but I will share this PowerPoint and our videos so that we can get that to you guys. And a little bit about our internship program. Every four months, we have internship cycles open that are open to undergraduate students here in the area. We have six medical and six dental um, students that we accept to help take vitals, um, scribe for our doctors, do patient interviews, um, schedule patients, take patient calls, um, and handle the hands-on portion of our clinic. And for the future, currently we are operating, as I said, in Holland, Ohio. Um, we sit on Saturdays from nine to one. Uh, we schedule about 12 to 13 medical patients each Saturday. However, we do accept walk-ins, so you are welcome to come in and get looked at. We accept walk-ins for medical only. We do have a wait list for the dental portion of our clinic, um, and there is a big need for that. So our wait is about six months to a year. And we typically take about 15 dental patients a day total with all of our different procedures and things like that. We are currently looking at expanding hours and trying to open up a second location, but that is for the future. We are trying to expand our outreach and our services. We've got uh, OB gyn services going about once a month or every couple months. We do have a women's specialist that comes, comes in. We've got pedi pediatricians who come in and see kids. We do do that schedule, scheduled only. We've also got a mobile mammogram bus from Mercy Health that joins us um, every couple months and we get our patients um, seen with their mammogram machine for free. And if they have any abnormal results, they can then get a biopsy free through a grant as well. And then it's all through Mercy Health through the same program. And then they can be referred to surgery if needed. Um, does anybody have any questions about our services? about the second location, what timeline uh, approximately are you looking at kind of getting the second location up and running? We are currently in talks to see um, the legality of it, if our location can legally um, can legally be okay, like um, malpractice wise and just protecting our providers. Um, hopefully we will have some answers within the next coming weeks. And once we figure out that, we can start looking at um, the facility itself, what we need to house our patients, and then advertising. We have a pretty good setup at our Holland Clinic um, about interns and like how we run things. So we would then just um, gather a whole new team of interns and schedule providers and transfer um, the way we operate our Holland Clinic to our second location. And as far as hours, it all depends on our providers. If there's anybody who's interested in volunteering, please contact us. Um, we could always use providers. We could always use patients. Um, it just depends when we can get um, providers available and if there's a need in the area that we're looking at as well. Any other questions? So, I'm just waiting for a couple of minutes online in case there are yeah, questions coming from that. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> well, Mariah, do you have anything to add? Uh, I know you're the main presenter, but uh, speaking of providers, if we do, that's it's an interesting point about the second location. 
And if we do open the second location, like providers include pharmacists. So any pharmacists, like please speak up if you mm -hmm. want to volunteer. We're in desperate need of pharmacists. So. That's right. We are in desperate need of pharmacists. As I don't know if you guys could hear Mariah. She is our pharmacist at the Holland branch of Halim Clinic. We are in desperate need of, of pharmacists or really any help at all, as well as patients. If you guys know anybody who's struggling, who is in need, even like short term, like something happened Thursday, Friday night and they need to be seen and it's super expensive and they can't or they just need to be seen, come into our clinic. We're open, like I said, Saturday mornings, nine to one. And we do accept walk-ins. Okay, and all our information, um, I will send it to somebody so we can get it to our um, uh, patrons here at ICGT. And we do have a website, HelenClinic.org, Clinic, Helene and um, all of our information is there. I also have some flyers that I can leave here with our information, how to get a hold of us, and um, some other flyers with our specialties for PEDS and the mobile mammogram bus. Thank you very much.